हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ऑन रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन इन प्रो कैरियर्स निशान जुन्नाकर फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ लाइफ साइंसेज सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ गुजरात हियर इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट सर्टन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन विच अकर्स इन प्रो कैरियर्स इन दिस लेक्चर विल कवर अबाउट द ओपेरॉन कंसेप्ट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल वील डिस्कस अबाउट लैक ओपेरॉन टी आर पी ओपेरॉन एंड ए आर एर आई ओपेरॉन नाउ वट इज द नीड फॉर रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन द ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर वेरी एनर्जी कॉन्शियस एंड सो दे रेगुलेट द जीन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द एनर्जी हियर आर सर्टन पॉइंट्स एट विच द रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन इज एक्सर्टेड फर्स्ट the regulation may be exerted at the level of transcription the post transcriptional modification of mrna may be also subjected if the mrna is synthesized then the regulation of gene expression can be exerted by degrading the unnecessary mrna molecules or the protein synthesis also may be subjected to regulation the post translational modification of proteins will regulate the activity of the enzymes and so this will also exert a control on regulation of gene expression protein targeting and transport especially in case of eukaryotes and protein degradation is also one of the mechanism for regulating the gene expression so this figure shows us the all the regulatory points at which the organism can exert a regulatory control so at the level of transcription the regulation can be exerted once the mrna is synthesized the post transcriptional modification especially in case of eukaryotes can be exerted and then the translation also may be subjected to regulation post translational modifications will govern the activity of the enzymes and once the enzyme is its function is over the proteins may be subjected to degradation for reuse of the amino acids so let us have a look at the certain basic terminologies which are related to this topic housekeeping genes housekeeping genes are the genes which encode for the products which are involved in the central metabolic pathways so these gene products are necessary for viability of the organism constitutive gene expression the gene expression may be, may be regulated in such a manner that in certain cases the constitutive gene expression occurs now in constitutive gene expression the concentration of the protein or the concentration of the gene product remains constant so whether the substrate is present or not the enzyme will always be found at a constant concentration now most of the housekeeping genes they are constitutively expressed but certain level of regulated gene expression is also seen in certain cases now regulated gene expression may be inducible or repressible in inducible gene expression the concentration of the proteins increase under certain situation and in case of repressible gene expression the concentration of proteins is found lower to the ground level expression and that's why the expression is not seen under repressible conditions so here the expression of genes is regulated by processes that affects the rate at which gene products are synthesized and degraded much of this re regulation occurs at the level of transcription initiation mediated by regulatory proteins that either repress transcription or activate transcription the proteins that exert repressible regulation that also can be referred as negative regulation and the proteins which increase the transcription or activate the transcription the regulation can be referred as positive regulation transcription initiation is regulated by proteins that bind to or near promoters so there are several kind of proteins that exert the regulatory control here are the list of certain proteins which have different functions these include specificity factors repressors activators 
and signal molecules also will have regulatory control by binding to the regulatory proteins specificity factors these are the proteins which guide or which dictates the specificity of the rna polymerase towards certain set of promoters in case of prokaryotes the sigma factor is an example of specificity factor the rna polymerase is guided to those set of promoters which are recognized by a particular kind of sigma factor in case of eukaryotes tata binding proteins can be regarded as the specificity factors so these bind, uh, tata binding proteins they bind to the tata box region in eukaryotic promoters and guide the rna polymerase eukaryotic rna polymerase towards those promoters in case of prokaryotes sigma factor by binding to the rna polymerase enzyme guides the rna polymerase towards the promoter which is recognized by that sigma factor several kind of sigma factors are found in prokaryotes sigma 70 is the major or uh, the common sigma factor or specificity factor which is recognized by majority of the promoters prokaryotic promoters now if this sigma 70 is replaced by sigma 30 the rna polymerase will be guided to those genes whose promoters are recognized by sigma 32 repressors these are the proteins which and which exert negative control so these repressors they bind to the site which is called as operator which is found in the promoter region activators these are the proteins which bind at or near the promoter and enhance the rna polymerase promoter interaction thereby activating the transcription level signal molecules certain catabolites will bind to the repressors or activators and change their activity so these signal molecules also exert a regulatory control at the transcription level here is the figure which is showing the consensus sequence of sigma 70 so the sigma 70 protein will recognize these kind of promoters which have the tata uh, sequence in the minus 10 region and ttga sequence in the minus 35 region whereas sigma 32 is the protein which recognizes a different promoter region which has this consensus sequence which is totally different from the consensus sequence found in the promoter region of recognized by sigma 70 so if the sigma 70 is bound to the rna polymerase the rna polymerase will be guided to the promoters which have this kind of sequence in the promoter region sigma 32 if it is bound to the rna polymerase rna polymerase will be guided to the promoters which are having the sequence recognized by sigma 32 and so uh, such kind of genes will be expressed which are recognized by sigma 32 the example is that of heat shock protein genes which are uh, these genes have promoters recognized by sigma 32 now here is the figure which indicates the negative regulation and positive regulation in case of negative regulation the regulatory protein or a repressor protein binds to the operator region in absence of a signal molecule now when a signal molecule is present the signal molecule binds to the repressor protein and brings a conformational change in the three dimensional structure of the protein because of which now the signal molecule bound repressor is unable to bind to the operator region and so now the transcription can occur whereas in the another case the repressor protein may be active in presence of signal molecule in absence of signal molecule the regulatory protein is unable to bind to the operator region and so in absence of signal molecule the protein is inactive repressor protein is inactive and so uh, in absence of signal molecule the transcription can occur here in this figure the positive regulation is shown where the activator protein is shown to be bound to near the promoter region by binding 
near the promoter region it enhances the rna polymerase promoter interaction now this activator protein is active in absence of signal molecule whereas when the signal molecule is present it binds to the uh, activator protein and brings a conformational change because of which the signal molecule bound activator protein is unable to bind to the activator binding site near the promoter and so no transcription will occur in such case this is then another case in which the activator protein is active in presence of signal molecule so signal molecule binds to the activator protein and activates it this activated activator protein binds to the activator binding site and enhances rna polymerase promoter interaction and so transcription can occur but in absence of the signal molecule this protein is inactive and so when the signal molecule is absent no transcription will occur because of the inactive form of activator protein in case of prokaryotes several genes are clustered on the chromosome and are transcribed together many mrna molecules are polycystronic in nature that is the multiple genes are transcribed in form of a single transcript and the single promoter that initiates transcription of the cluster is the site of regulation for expression of all the genes in the cluster such a gene cluster and promoter plus additional sequences that function together in regulation are referred as operon so operons are found in case of prokaryotes these pro operons are not found in case of eukaryotes here is the basic structure of an operon a hypothetical operon is shown in which the three genes a b c are clustered together and these genes are transcribed through a three single promoter region this promoter is having uh, an operator site which is recognized by repressor proteins near the promoter region there can be an activator binding site the activator proteins recognize this activator binding site and so the repressor protein by binding to the operators can exert a negative control whereas activator bind uh, activator proteins by binding to the activator binding site can exert positive control now we'll have a look at the lac operon which is the basic operon model for understanding the regulation of gene expression in case of prokaryotes now this operon is subject to positive as well as negative control this in this operon the genes which are whose products are involved in the metabolism of lactose sugar are clustered together and these are expressed in form of polycystronic mrna now the lac operon is an inducible operon and contains genes that code for enzymes that are involved in the hydrolysis and metabolism of lactose one repressor protein encoded by lac i gene is also present but it is not part of the lac operon it is situated uh, near the lac operon and as it is having a regulatory control it also must be discussed lac z lac y and lac a genes are clustered together in the lac operon lac z encodes for beta galactosidase enzyme lac y encodes for beta galactoside permease enzyme and lac a encodes for trans acetylase enzyme lac z enzyme or lac z gene product or beta galactosidase enzyme is involved in degradation of lactose into glucose and galactose lac y product that is beta galactoside permease is involved or is required for entry of lactose from external environment extracellular environment to intracellular environment trans acetylase is involved in metabolism of toxic lactose metabolites which may form during the degradation or during the metabolism of lactose and so this enzyme plays a role in that in the removal of toxic metabolites so lac i gene it encodes for a lac repressor 
This leg repressor is active and switches the leg operon off when it is bound to the operator. Leg I gene is transcribed through its own promoter. Here is the figure in which the leg I gene is shown. The promoter for leg operon is also shown. Now this leg I gene which is transcribed through its own promoter is expressed and when the mRNA, leg, leg I mRNA is translated, leg repressor which is active in absence of a signal molecule is able to bind to the operator sites. Now the operator which is recognized by this leg repressor, it can be divided into O1, O2 and O1, O2 and O3. Leg repressor is, is having major affinity towards O1 operator which is situated within the, within the promoter region whereas other operator sites they are situated uh, in the uh, for example O2 is situated within the leg Z gene and O3 is situated within the leg I gene. So this leg repressor is able to bind all these promoters by forming tetramers. So here is the figure in which the lac repressor is shown to occupy all the operator sites O1, O2 and O3 by tetramerization and such DNA looping is seen when the lac repressor binds to the operator region. So when lac repressor is bound to the operator region, the lac mRNA is not synthesized because it will block the RNA polymerase promoter interaction. Now let us have a look at this at several cases when lactose is absent, what will happen? When lactose is absent, the regulatory gene is expressed and the lac repressor is synthesized and it is active. So the active form of lac repressor occupies the operator region and blocks the RNA polymerase promoter interaction and so no lac mRNA is made. What will happen if lactose is present in the medium? When lactose is present in the medium, the beta galactoside permease, few molecules of beta galactoside permease will be present in the membrane and these permease enzymes or permease proteins will be enough for entry of lactose from extracellular environment to intracellular environment. Once inside the cell, the lactose is acted upon by few molecules of beta galactosidase which are always present due to ground level expression. Now this beta galactosidase enzyme acts on lactose and initial reaction results in formation of allolactose also. This allolactose is an inducer. This allolactose which is formed it binds to the repressor protein and by binding to the repressor protein it makes a three dimensional configurational change in the lac repressor structure and because of which the lac repressor is unable to bind or if it is bound then it will be removed from the operator site. Now the RNA polymerase can have access through the promoters and it can transcribe the lac ZYA genes in form of polycystronic mRNA and the proteins can be synthesized upon translation of lac mRNA on ribosomes. So in presence of lactose the lac mRNA is synthesized but positive regulation will be exerted when an activator binding site is occupied by the activator protein. So here cyclic AMP CRP complex will enhance the RNA polymerase promoter interaction and so when cyclic AMP CRP protein is bound enhanced expression levels will be seen. So positive regulation is exerted by cyclic AMP CRP complex. Cyclic AMP is the molecule which indicates the carbon starvation signals. So this 
increase in the concentration of cyclic AMP indicates that the easily metabolizable substrate is not available or in technical way if we say that the sugar which is transported by PTA system is absent. In such case cyclic AMP levels will be high. But those sugars which are transported by PTA system, phosphotransferase system, when such sugars are present in the growth medium, then cyclic AMP levels will be low. So, this cyclic AMP levels will govern the regulation of gene expression. Another protein which is now the protein which is required for binding to the cyclic AMP which will exert the positive control is the catabolite activator protein or often referred as cyclic AMP receptor protein. Now this protein is active when cyclic AMP is bound to the protein. In absence of cyclic AMP, the catabolite activator protein is inactive and so when cyclic AMP levels are low, the catabolite activator protein is not able to occupy the activator binding site. Here is the table which indicates the level of cyclic AMP in different situations. When the organism is growing in presence of different carbon sources, what would be the cyclic AMP concentration that is shown? Glucose. Glucose is the sugar which is metabolized or which is transported by PTS system, phosphotransferase system. And so when glucose is present in the growth medium, the cyclic AMP levels will be low. When glycerol is present in the growth medium, the cyclic AMP levels are high because this sugar is not transported by PTS system. Lactose is also not transported in the by the PTS system and so when only lactose is present, the high levels of cyclic AMP are seen. In case of glycerol also, high levels of cyclic AMP are seen. When lactose and glucose both are present, then cyclic AMP levels are low. So when glucose is depleted, then cyclic AMP levels will start rising. When lactose and glycerol are provided to the organism for growth purpose, the cyclic AMP levels are found to be high. Now how this glucose level regulates the concentration of cyclic AMP that we will see. The adenylate cyclase enzyme converts or is responsible for synthesis of cyclic AMP. So here the ADP is acted upon by adenylate cyclase and the pyrophosphate is removed and AMP adenosine monophosphate is cyclized. So cyclic AMP is formed which can be acted upon by phosphodiesterase enzyme, cyclic AMP phosphodiesterase which will convert it into linear molecule that is the AMP molecule which can be phosphorylated and result, uh, will result in formation of ATP. Now this adenylate cyclase enzyme is governed by the PTA system or it is regulated by the PTA system. Those sugars which are transported by the PTA system, for example glucose, mannose, fructose, these are the sugars which are transported by the PTA system. So when glucose is absent, the adenylate cyclase enzyme is active. The reason is that the PTA system involves enzyme 1, histidine protein and enzyme 2. The enzyme 2 is specific for different uh, sugars, for example 2A uh, glucose, this is specific for transport of glucose. So these proteins, they, uh, they are phosphorylated, um, uh, the phosphate comes from phosphoenol pyruvate. So uh, the glucose, when it is transported inside, it must not leak out of the cell and for this the phosphorylation is needed. Attachment of phosphate will impart a negative charge and so the glucose molecule now cannot leak out of the cell. So from phosphoenyl pyruvate, the phosphate is transferred to enzyme 1, then to enzyme uh, histidine protein 
and enzyme 2a which will transfer the phosphate to glucose and the glucose will be phosphorylated so when glucose is present the these proteins will be in almost non phosphorylated form because the phosphate is transferred to the glucose for transport inside the cell and so non phosphorylated form of these proteins bind to the adenylate cyclase especially enzyme 2a it binds to the adenylate cyclase and inhibits the adenylate cyclase activity whereas when the enzyme 2 is present in phosphorylated form it will activate the adenylate cyclase activity and so in active form the adenylate cyclase is able to convert atp into cyclic amp so when cyclic amp crp complex is present what will happen now here is the figure in which it is shown that the repressor is bound to the operator when only repressor is bound the lac mrna synthesis will not occur when repressor and cyclic amp crp both are bound to their respective sites this can happen when glucose is absent and lactose is also absent so under such situation still as the operator is blocked by the repressor molecule so no lac mrna synthesis can occur in presence of lactose the lac repressor will get removed and in absence of glucose high levels of cyclic amp will be there so cyclic amp crp complex will form and this will occupy the activator binding site and enhance the rna polymerase promoter interaction and so yes the lac mrna synthesis will occur now here it is shown that no neither lac repressor nor the cyclic amp crp complex is bound to their respective site and so under such situation uh, the lac mrna synthesis will not occur but uh, it should be noted that the ground level expression can be possible in such situation ground level expression is responsible for Uh, presence of two or three molecules of beta galactosidase and permease when even when lactose is absent so such ground level expression is seen only in case of prokaryotes in case of eukaryotes the positive regulation is always needed for expression of the genes so this figure indicates the same thing the when yes when glucose is present and glucose uh, when lactose is present and glucose is scarce when glucose is very less in concentration so under such situation the cyclic amp levels are high now when the cyclic amp levels are high the cyclic amp crp complex will form and this cyclic amp crp complex will bind to the activator binding site also as lactose is present the allo lactose which is formed binds to the lac repressor bound to the operator and so uh, the conformational change in the lac repressor structure occurs which results in removal of lac repressor from the operator site and so now the rna polymerase can have access through the lac zya genes and lac mrna synthesis can occur now here this figure indicates what will happen if lactose is present and glucose is also present when glucose is present cyclic amp levels are low now under such situation the cyclic amp crp complex will not form and this catabolite activator protein or crp protein will be inactive and will not be able to occupy the activator binding site like as lactose is also present allo lactose which is formed this can result in removal of lac repressor formation of allo lactose will occur due to ground level expression this can occur even when uh, lac repressor is bound and when it gets inactivated and it falls off transiently and before the another lac repressor occupies the operator site the rna polymerase may gain access through the promoter and can initiate the transcription process and this is responsible for ground level expression of lac mrna genes lac genes so let us have a have a few examples of the mcqs on operon concept 
in this question it is asked genes whose products are constantly needed for cellular activity are called as the options are regulator regulator genes structural genes housekeeping genes and smart genes the correct answer is housekeeping genes so these housekeeping genes are the genes which whose products are always needed for the viability of the cell or constant cellular activity second question the products of constitutive genes may be one option is involved in catabolic pathways involved in anabolic pathways continuously synthesized or involved in the synthesis of structural elements so here the correct option is pqrs that means all the statements are correct the products of the constitutive genes may may be involved in catabolic pathways they may be involved in anabolic pathways they may be continuously synthesized yes this statement is also correct and they are involved in the synthesis of structural elements in the cell so the correct option is d third question the following are the basic properties of a prokaryotic operon the operon usually consists of multiple genes that are organized between promoter and the terminator another statement is the operon is usually under the autogenous transcriptional control member genes are coordinately regulated exclusively contains genes that encode proteins involved in stress tolerance so the correct option is p and q that is the b so these two statements are correct the operon usually consists of multiple genes that are organized between a promoter and a terminator and the operon is usually under autogenous transcriptional control which of the following statements about the repressor of lac operon of e coli are true number 1 it is the gene product of the regulatory gene it binds to the operator region of the lac operon it blocks the transcription of structural genes and the fourth statement it combines with allolactose and combination will not bind to the operator so if we look at this all the four statements are correct so lac repressor is the gene product of the regulatory gene lac repressor binds to the operator region of the lac operon and exerts negative control so it blocks the transcription of structural genes and it combines with allolactose and the combination will not be able to bind to the operator so the correct option is d all statements are correct now in this question it is asked which of the following genes is not transcribed from the promoter for beta galactosidase so beta galactosidase gene that is lac z gene it is transcribed through promoter lac now out of this lac z lac i lac y and lac a z y a these three genes are clustered together and are transcribed through the single promoter so the option which is correct in this case is lac i gene as said earlier lac i gene is transcribed through its own promoter promoter lac i induction of beta galactosidase activity by iptg is the result of stimulation of lac repressor function iptg binding to the lac operon and inducing transcription iptg binding to lac i gene product and inhibiting its activity inhibition of beta galactosidase degradation correct option is c iptg binding to lac i gene product and inhibiting its activity iptg isopropyl beta the thiogalactoparenoside this molecule is gratuitous inducer of lac operon this iptg molecule binds to the lac repressor just in a similar way to that of allolactose and 
the enzyme beta galactosidase is not able to act on iptg and that's why it is called as gratuitous inducer seventh question a loss of function mutation in the gene that encodes the catapolite activator protein of e coli would have what effect on expression of the lac operon options are a expression would be very high in the presence of lactose and off in its absence regardless of the presence or absence of glucose b expression would be low in the presence of lactose and off in its absence regardless of the presence or absence of glucose expression would be low in the presence of glucose and very high in its absence regardless of the presence or absence of lactose and d expression would be off in the presence of glucose and low in its absence regardless of the presence or absence of lactose so the correction correct option is b expression would be low in the presence of lactose and off in its absence regardless of the presence or absence of glucose now several questions in competitive exams are asked on lac mutants these lac mutants were very beneficial for elucidating the structural genes that are involved in the uh, lac that are clustered together in the lac operon so jacob and monard they uh, worked on several lac mutants to elucidate which genes are responsible for encoding the beta galactosidase or permease and transacetylase and how they are regulated so uh, here the lac mutants study is very important for this we need to understand certain basic terminologies one terminology that you will always come across is mero diploid or partial diploids bacteria they have a single chromo chromosome and they are haploid in nature so the genes which are present on the bacterial chromosome they are said to be uh, present in uh, on the same or single dna molecule now if an another dna molecule is introduced in the cell for example a plasmid dna molecule plasmid dna carrying some of the chromosomal genes now here in the bacterial cell introduction of a plasmid or a prime factor i should say which carries some of the chromosomal genes presence of this prime factor inside the cell will convert or will uh, result in formation of mero diploid or partial diploids because those genes which are found on the prime factor chromosomal genes which are found on prime factor they are also present on the chromosome and so these genes are present on in two copies on two separate dna molecules and such a in such a case such a cell is referred as mero diploid or partial diploid so here are certain cases in which the genotype of the mero diploids are shown the genes which are present on the prime factor these genotype is shown as f prime followed by the genotype of the organism carrying the prime factor a slash is there and followed by certain genes this these genes indicate the presence of genes on the bacterial chromosome so here Uh, the f prime followed by the genes these in indicate that these are the genes present on the prime factor and the genes which are shown on the right side of the slash forward slash they indicate that these are the genes present on the bacterial chromosome so we'll have a look at all these seven entries now how to deal with such kind of questions you may be asked uh, what would be the phenotypy of the uh, mero diploid uh, having a particular kind of genotypy uh, out of these seven any of these can be uh, given or some of the combinations may be given and you may be asked which is the correct one for uh, constitutive or inducible expression so let us discuss one by one now how to deal with such questions is roughly 
draw a cell and show a uh, prime factor which is carrying the lac genes lac zya that is lac operon as well as lac i gene and uh, draw one uh, chromosome bacterial chromosome on which the lac i and lac zya genes are shown and depending on the genotype that is shown just mark about the mutations or mark certain mutations which are shown in the genotype which is asked now here one should note that those genes which are not shown in the genotype they are considered to be wild that means they are wild itself okay so here in this first case the genotype that is shown is lac oc lac z plus and chromosomal genes carry lac o plus that is operator is wild and beta galactosidase gene is also wild so here oc mutation means constitutive mutation in the operator now because of mutation in the operator region the lac repressor will not be able to recognize the operator having oc mutation so here Uh, an oc mutation is there on prime factor whereas the operator on the bacterial chromosome operator of the lac operon on bacterial chromosome is wild so lac repressor if you look at the lac repressor gene it is not mutated that means the lac repressor can be expressed from uh, prime factor or it can also be expressed from uh, the bacterial chromosome the active the Uh, repressor molecule will be able to bind to the operator on bacterial chromosome but it will not be able to bind to the operator on prime factor because of a mutation and so what will happen the uh, constitutive expression will be seen that is the always you will find the beta galactosidase enzyme or enhanced level of expression in uh, in presence uh, in absence of uh, lactose so uh, whether lactose is present or absent always you will find the uh, beta galactosidase uh, activity because of constitutive expression in such a mero diploid next case here the genotype that is shown is operator on prime factor is wild beta galactosidase is also wild on bacterial chromosome operator is having mutation oc mutation and lac z is also wild so in this case now the operator on bacterial chromosome operator of lac operon on bacterial chromosome is having mutation and so in such case the lac repressor will not be able to bind to the operator on bacterial chromosome operator of lac operon on bacterial chromosome so uh, here but that repressor will be able to bind to the operator on prime factor and so what will happen the constitutive mrna synthesis can occur in absence or presence of lactose and so what will happen there will always be a uh, constant level of beta galactosidase enzyme in presence or absence of lactose here we are not considering the presence of glucose so it is shown that glucose is absent so whether lactose is present or absent under such situation what will happen inducible level of expression or constitutive expression will be seen that we have to consider so we have to find out whether constitutive expression will occur or inducible expression will occur so in this case the constitutive expression will be the result third case here the prime factor is shown to have mutation in the lac i gene beta galactosidase gene is wild and other genes are also wild that is operator is not mutated lac i gene on bacterial chromosome is wild and lac z gene is also wild on bacterial chromosome so here as the lac repressor is non functional from prime factor but a functional lac repressor can be 
synthesized or can be expressed from the bacterial chromosome the lac repressor being trans acting in nature it can occupy the operator on prime factor as well as bacterial chromosome and so it will exert a negative control so when lactose is absent repressor will be bound to the operators and no expression will be seen only when lactose is present the repressor can be removed and so the phenotypy in such case is inducible one fourth case is genotypy indicates that the prime factor is carrying a wild lac i gene and lac z gene whereas a mutation is there on bacterial chromosome within lac i gene whereas lac z gene is wild so here in this case the functional repressor will be expressed from prime factor and so lac repressor being trans acting in nature it can bind to the operator on bacterial chromosome it can also bind to the operator on prime factor and uh, will result in negative control when lactose is absent when lactose is present it will be removed so inducible expression will be seen in such merodiploid fifth case the genotypy of this merodiploid is lac oc mutation and lac z plus on prime factor whereas there is a mutation on bacterial chromosome within lac i gene and lac z is wild now in this case the prime factor is carrying mutation within the operator region oc mutation is there and so a functional repressor molecule which is trans which is expressed from prime factor lac i gene it will be able to bind to operator on bacterial chromosome operator of lac operon on bacterial chromosome this lac repressor will not be able to bind to the operator of lac operon on prime factor and so a constitutive mrna lac mrna synthesis will occur because the uh, repressor is not uh, able to occupy the operator on prime factor lac operon operator on prime factor and so constitutive expression will occur that is even in absence of lactose the lac mrna will be expressed and uh, in presence of lactose the lac mrna will be expressed so constitutive expression will occur in such case sixth case the prime factor is having a mutation in the operator oc mutation is there but that dna molecule is also carrying a mutation in lac z gene whereas the lac operon genes that is the operator is wild and uh, beta galactosidase gene is also wild on bacterial chromosome so what will be the uh, situation in this case the operator within the operator of lac mrna uh, lac operon on prime factor is having mutation and so a functional repressor is not able to bind to the operator so lac mrna synthesis will occur but the lac z gene is also mutated so the lac z gene product in from this gene will be a non functional one and so inducible expression will be observed that is when lactose is present a functional beta galactosidase will be expressed from bacterial chromosome functional beta galactosidase will be expressed from the bacterial chromosome so in this case the inducible expression is the outcome seventh case the prime factor is having mutation in the operator region and the beta galactosidase gene is also wild whereas on bacterial chromosome operator is wild and lac z gene is mutated now in 
in such case here we can see that the operator is mutated on the prime factor so lac repressor will not be able to bind to the prime factor whereas operator will be able to bind to operator on bacterial chromosome now in such case constitutive expression is seen because of, uh, repressor is not able to bind to the um, operator on prime factor so constitutive mrna synthesis will occur and the lac z gene being functional from this dna molecule it will be expressing a functional beta galactosidase enzyme so we we must remember that oc mutations whenever they are present you must check on the same dna molecule the beta galactosidase gene must be wild if oc mutation is there and the same dna molecule is carrying a mutation in the lac z gene then it will not result in constitutive expression because the beta galactosidase enzyme will be non functional in such case and so it will re require the presence of lactose for induction of expression from the another dna molecule okay so let us have a discussion on certain mcqs on lac mutants synthesis of beta galactosidase will be constitutive in a strain with the genotype the genotypes are mentioned in this question i plus z plus and y plus so here the repressor is wild and so it will not be able to result in constitutive expression here repressor is inactive so it will not be able to bind to the operator the beta galactosidase gene is also functional in c the beta galactosidase gene is non functional and so it will not result in constitutive expression whereas in d the beta galactosidase beta galactoside permease is non functional so the correct option is b which of the following partial diploids will express beta galactosidase constitutively the options which are given over here have been already discussed in the previous seven cases so just what you have to do draw a bacterial cell roughly and draw a prime factor plus bacterial chromosome and mention all the mutations wherever they are shown on prime factor and bacterial chromosome so in this case out of these options the option a that is prime factor carrying oc mutation and lac z gene is wild this will result in constitutive expression in case of d oc mutation is there but lac z gene is mutated and so in this case no functional beta galactosidase will be there so the correct option is a okay so rest of the questions and the other aspects of the operon will discuss in the coming session thank you